Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on our front door handle and in the event that yours is loose or you went to use it and it completely fell off the door, we're going to show you how to tighten it or fix it all together. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers at the door now and all I did was turn the knob in hopes of opening up the door and it fell off and landed in my hand. So I grabbed a flashlight and we are going to investigate. Here's a closer look and you've got two Phillips screws that actually go into this portion here. And you'll notice the little circle cutouts right there and right there. Those are supposed to align properly and turn and lock on the Phillips screws. However, that's not working because the opposite side is extremely flimsy and loose. And that's what it looks like right there. So let's go grab the flashlight and figure this out. All right, YouTubers, quick update. As I was doing some wiggling with the parts, two of these little Phillips screws fell from the inside here and I've already pulled them out slightly. And they're not very long screws, as you can see. Again, two little Phillips screws and I don't think I'll need the flashlight. However, what I'll do now is I need to remove both of these. Next thing I'll do, come to this portion and we want to remove the upper Phillips screw and the lower Phillips screw. Looks like the previous owner stripped this, so be careful if yours are stripped. Making progress, both of these screws are out and now we can move this part a lot easier. And as you can see, that little black part right there is supposed to come through that circle cutout. And what I want to show you, I found the actual holes where the screw goes. Not sure if you can see it, but right back in here is the left screw. And then on the opposite side up here is the right screw. We need to re-secure those screws to the plate that actually secures to this back side. Here's a better look at that actual internal hole way back there, not this one. That's the hole we just removed those longer Phillips screws. On the back side, with your exterior knob, you see that as I push that knob down, it shifts this plate completely up. And once we secure or re-secure both of those screws, the whole mechanism will be back together and work properly. All right, YouTubers, making progress. And believe me when I say this, it's not easy, but I do want to show you where I am. Look way deep in there. You will see that Phillips screw. And this is kind of spring-loaded, so you do have to push it back. However, when you do that, you offset these two pieces and this inner piece. And that's okay, but just be careful. You don't want to offset it too much while you do this. I have not secured that screw all the way and that is because I need a little bit of play to gain access to the upper hole to insert and re-secure that back screw there. We left this part in. You can take it out to get better access to the screws. One on the bottom left, one on the top right. You can't see them now. Make sure the parts are properly aligned and this little piece here is through its circular slot and make sure your exterior panel here is flush with the door. What we'll do now is re-secure these long screws inside the holes. Do your best not to cross-thread these. At this point, both Phillips screws are screwed in and just a hair above the actual flush portion. Now come to the side and re-secure these Phillips screws. Now for the tricky part, you will notice on the side you have an arrow, as you can see right there. And this part's annoying, however, easier than you think. This little arrow here, it was back here. I needed both hands and just shift this cover plate rearward by grabbing the handle and the plate at the same time. And then you want to use both hands and place your thumb on this portion and your fingers on the opposite side where there's an additional arrow right there. And you want to twist it to a point where you can actually remove this plate and you'll notice the square cutouts those actually go over these here what we'll do now is insert this plate to the door and secure it with those screws and just align those portions there and you'll just turn it and this piece is going to go inside the door and be flush let's go grab our Phillips screwdriver and secure this plate with those screws your goal as you tighten this plate into the actual cutout of the door the back side of the plate back here, the door handle will be flush as well. So continue just securing this plate. At this point, both Phillips screws are secured. This plate is solidly secured to the door and mechanism inside. Take a look at that circular tip here, and that has to align itself inside that circular cutout there. And once you get to that point, you're going to go all the way flush with the door and here's the most important part. You need to lock this doorknob in place. See that little arrow right there? All we're going to do is push the knob and we are going to turn left. And it's going to go down to the left. 
and secure the plate. Let's go ahead and test it. Turning it right, turning it left, perfect. Let's go to the outside. Okay, so far it works good. And it's a lot more firmer and secure than it was prior to us actually doing the maintenance on it. So that's it YouTubers, we hope the video helped. Maybe it's possible that you can actually fix your old one that's already installed on your door, like we just did in our video, as opposed to going out and purchasing a brand new lock. Now obviously over time these locks wear out and they break and they need to be replaced. However, as we saw during our inspection, ours was just loose screws. So hopefully this helps you YouTubers. Hey, do us a favor below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching. Back inside now and one additional tip as far as the actual plate, before you push this in and secure Secure it. Turn this knob all the way to the left pretty firmly because that is ultimately what actually locks this knob into place with the inner plate. And then this little gold cover plate here, you just push into place and there's nothing that actually locks in place with this part. It's just tension on the actual inner part.